Hello everyone and welcome to part two of uh, our walk of Sparrow 2. But this is with mods. In the previous part we did not do 90% of the level, but we ended up glitching the game. I think we glitched it anyway. Because uh, the game was a bit concerned, like not concerned but a bit confused of what we were doing. Obviously, yeah look, eight six percent, just one orb. Which was a bit annoying. But I suppose that's the only problem with the mods in some games if you do it too much you can end up crashing the game or corrupting it or I understand that because I understand that the games are meant to be played properly, not obviously with mods or so to a certain point I can understand, but obviously with this this level we'll be doing summer forest. We'll be um getting the underwater, we'll be getting all the orbs. Or the treasure, open up some worlds. But the sad thing is that we're gonna have to what we'll do is we'll get the gems and we're um what you call it, we're um we get we pay money bags to learn how to swim. I see see I wouldn't mind someone actually making the abilities mod to give you all the abilities from the start of the game. Because on the original, on the original PS2, on the original PS1, you could actually press the cheat code and actually have all the abilities from the start of the game. So that will save you 2,000 gems. Which will be a hell of a... It'll be, it'll be making the game easier, but obviously I'm not worried because I've, I've still got this mod. Which obviously, those of you that don't know, hello, my name's Ben. So I should uh, introduce myself first, really. Hello, my name's Ben. I've got two YouTube channels. One's called uh, Retro FIFA 93, and one's called B Banner Gaming nice 93. And uh, obviously, this okay. will be my uh, my gameplay for my YouTube channel, Banner Gaming. Nice job. Now try to do. But uh, yeah. Also, every Thursday, I do a podcast Very with a group good. of people, Retro Gaming. And obviously we do talk wow. about other stuff as well. Obviously those of you that are new, if you'd like to check that out, I also got a, uh, also run a third YouTube channel called uh, Game Web Inc, which is obviously the, the business, which is obviously a company, um, they're not a company yet, but obviously they're um, a group of us who do make mainly retro gaming, but also, um, Yeah. So hang on a minute. This is fusion coming up. Oh yeah, so I got that. Um yeah, so not only will you got content on this channel, which is majority of most mostly uh, the games that are not football games, because I've decided to the retro FIFA games will be obviously football. Spark. Yeah, shut up. Right. Now we're skin, pretty much, but we can swim, so we need to come back here. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so. This channel will be mainly gaming, including some Fortnite game, gaming, some PUBG maybe. Uh, obviously, I've got one of my followers. Uh, she wants some horror games, so I'm currently doing that. This this channel will be just doing recordings. Same for FIFA, the retro FIFA one. The the only thing that I'll be streaming on is now I've decided it's Twitch. Obviously, you can follow me on Twitch at Bunny's World 93. And obviously I'll be uh, streaming Monday, Monday to Friday. Normally it's between two to four, two to four. Normally two two p.m. to four p.m. UK time. Obviously we'll wait and see on that because obviously I do at the moment I work days and nights. When I'm on days it'll probably be Monday to Friday, probably be in the evening. Or when I'm work when I'm working it'll be for an hour. But when I'm not working it'll be two hours. So obviously my days off. It'll be for two hours. 
so obviously, you know, it is what it is, because I've got to try and work this around my work schedule as well, which is understandable. And obviously the podcasts, again, even though they are but mon- uh, every Thursdays, I've made it a couple of things of every Thursday. We have re- ranging from one, well, between two to three, well, the maximum we've had so far is four people in the podcast talking. So obviously, you know, so I'm good to record, but obviously we'll be streaming it on Twitch. And obviously, you know, all sorts of stuff. So there, there, is, there is a lot to cover in this video, but obviously the, uh, the main object of this video, obviously to show you guys the mods, I've downloaded the, um, the free fly or the free flight and the ability, like the, the abilities, which means they give us stuff like invincibility, they also give us um, super flame power up without, you know, having the, they give us the permanent fire breath, they also give us uh, invincibility, supercharge, all this sort of stuff, all these goodies. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I need video boy now. But yeah, it's just a, uh, I try to cut it down like as short as possible, obviously 10 minute videos-ish, if I can. Obviously the first one I believe was, uh, I think it was like 30 minutes, but obviously again. But what they should do, like I said, or even if they was able to do the um, underwater swimming. So what we'll do, press H twice, and you should, you know, go up. Oh, really? It's not going to let me. Ah. So we are going to still have to come back to that. Really? Yeah, there are some certain levels. Well, you've got barriers, obviously, like this one. That's, that sucks. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. We'll get out of this level, because I didn't want to do that. So we're still going to have to finish this level. I'll come out of that. No, not quick game. Yes, sorry about that. Um, yeah, that's a bit disappointing. So we can't finish this level then. Because we haven't got enough gems. That sucks. You're wet. Yeah. Oh. She ain't, he ain't well on his way. What we can do then. Finish that. Um, finish the Glimmer Challenge. It's a bit annoying. Like I said though, it is what it is. At the end of the day. So what we'll do is we'll just uh also what I do like about the flight is like that look. Press the left trigger or right trigger. And obviously Spyro do that, but also if you do it at a certain point, I think it's if you do the left trigger, Spyro swing around. So I do like that. But what I do is obviously just skip all this, skip money bags completely, skip Zoe. Did you know that if you don't actually pay for money bags and stuff, you can actually, um, when you defeat Ripto, you can actually, oh, yeah, right. I'm just going to have to do this normal, aren't I? How hard was that? <laughs> right. Let him go first. Yeah, as I was saying, if you um, didn't, same for Spyro 3. Where is he? Oh, he's up there already. Yeah, Spyro 2, Spyro 3, once you beat the last boss. 
and you beat money and you unlock money bags as gems. You, all the areas that money bags would have been. Oh, you bugger. Ah, uh huh. So we're just going to do this normal. Sadly. Yes, I know. Just give me the. Right, come on. Yeah, in the original, there. I was, I was going to say I've been looking at getting more mods for the game. I don't want to give it too much, but there's actually a mod where you can actually make this two-player, and I've actually seen people play it on YouTube, and I was like, yeah, that's excellent. That is. I wonder if the mods will actually add, like, say for example, you you got the, the two-player mod. I wonder if he was actually able to add the um, super flight so you'll still get the powers that you've got now but obviously with two people probably not I don't know how the modern world works I'm new to this so obviously you know but it, it's, it makes the game more to a certain point it makes the game more easier and more fun because I I was doing my live stream yesterday and I and I was able to oh bugger instead of waiting for the because I firstly I had trouble with getting it to work but what I was realizing I was actually putting it in the wrong game like in the wrong um like I wasn't copying the instructions okay. so obviously you just got to read the instructions properly and there you go I saw this And that's this world, that's this level done. There you go, all orbs collected. I don't know whether you want. Ah! You'll have to pay up sooner or later. It's the only way across. I have to look after my. <coughs> Avalar's financial well being. You know? Uh, or just, just mod the game and. just fly over. <laughs> there you go. Bear in mind, if you had all the abilities from the start, what? Yes, I don't care. I've got it already. Yes, I know. And uh, on the abilities, on the PS1, you was actually able to get, get the abilities from the start by using a cheat code, and then you was actually able to get the 10 enemies and then climb the ladder and then use the, su the super fly to um, skip money bags. Oh, we need to go over here, don't we? But yeah, well, sadly. Have we done this one? I can't remember. Must have. Yeah. I can't remember doing it though. But yeah, so um, I'm going to leave this here. And the next uh, level will be uh, Idle Springs. So I'll see you guys in the next part. Wait. Hang on.